Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about table partitioning, which is a technique for optimizing the data tables. Now, we will go through the basics very like we will first understand what is table partitioning, then we will talk about how partitioning internally works. Then we'll take a look at lab session where we will be actually doing the table partitioning on the data table or a data frame. And then we will talk about what are best practices we should follow while creating the partitioning, while doing the partitioning on data table. So let's talk about the first thing first. What is table partitioning? So as the name suggests table partitioning, it means we are gonna partition a table into multiple tables. Now, obviously, when we are talking about the partitioning, it should be a very huge table, okay, a very large table, basically. Now, this table gonna divide it into multiple subtables or sub data sets, okay, sub tables, and this this bifurcation or this uh, basically this segregation is basically depends on a key or based on multiple keys when i say keys it means columns or column value column values okay now i'll just give you an example so this is what table partitioning is we are gonna partition one table into multiple tables based on a column values based on one column value or based on multiple column values again it depends on the business use case or the type of data which we are holding currently now how internally it works okay how actually it divide this data based on these key values let's try to understand let's take an example of a table where we are storing the records or we are storing our sales record okay of last five years so it means uh, when i when i say five years let's assume there is a column which is known as date and this date column will have all the years on which year what all sales we have done or how much sales we have done let's say 2001 2002 2003 2004 and 2005 okay so this was a table which has the sales record of last five years and these are the years for which we are storing the values now if i have to perform partition on top of it i will take this column the date column as a key okay and i will partition this data so that we will be having five different tables okay in the target location this is my target location let's say a now this a will have these five folders inside it okay so actually we what we are doing is we are dividing our data into multiple folders okay so as in conclusion if i talk about how internally partition works is it's basically or it internally have impact on its physical layout of the table okay not the logical layout it's it's actually impacting the physical layout we are actually we are storing the data right storing the tables correct and then it create inside this folder it will create the files the parquet files okay so it means it is gonna store the underlying data files in it okay and then how it actually improves the performances now let's try to understand obviously as a user you wanted to see the sales volume in 2005 okay or i mean to say in year of 2005 right so you are gonna hit your query based on based on this year okay so the query will only gonna check inside this folder not with all other folders right so your scan will be very limited and your throughput will be very fast right you will be getting the result very fast so that's how partitionings helps you to optimize your user queries or optimize your 
subsequent queries or querying any data from the table okay it will help us to improve that performance okay now there are some standards on what basis the column should be uh, picked up for partitioning and uh, and all right we will talk about it but first let's go through a practical session where i will be showing you how you can partition one uh, partition one data frame before writing it into a delta table and there we will talk about the problems like what are problems we can face and how to overcome those problems we'll talk about best practices as well so let me quickly switch over to databricks workspace so if you see here few commands i already written just to save some time the first command is to import the functions and the second one is creating the schema for the csv file which we are reading in the uh, cell third uh, we are storing this as a delta frame and then just to showcase you the data we have these three columns which has nine records underneath uh, the column one and column two has distinct values however in the column three you see all the values are unique so what we discussed so far is let's suppose if i wanted to partition my table on column one it will create nine different partitions because the data is entirely different distinct right all the all the records in each of these rows are different right so it's gonna create nine different partitions for me right which is very bad because it just having nine records and for these nine records it's gonna create nine folders right so when i was talking about which column you should use definitely you should not use the columns which has the large number of um, distinct values right or you can say which has high cardinality so you should go ahead with the no cardinality columns for partitioning like zip code state date date means year or month right or if you're dealing with some product go ahead with the product category so again it depends on the business but you should definitely not to go with high cardinality column but for this example i will go ahead and create one partition on column one and we'll see how it creates the underlying folders inside it okay so we have the data frame i'll say write this data frame in delta format okay. and while writing you can say mode if you want append and then you can say partition by so this is the function we need to use to partition our table now i'll say let's partition this table or this data frame based on column one sorry my bad column one okay now and then let's save this table uh, let's create one location instead of testing i'll say partitioning okay what well, let's run it so it started writing this data frame into this particular location now what it will do it will create multiple folders inside this partition one folder let's go to this tbfs and try to see this see partition one and you see it created all the partitions see for all these nine values but this is not the best approach definitely because all these values are unique so ideally what should you have done is since we have one column with year date or with with date ideally we should create the partition on sorry my bad ideally we should create the partition on let's, let's create another table and we should create the partition on column 3 so now we will be having only one partition inside our delta table this is our delta table or the location partition 2 okay let's go here move back again go inside table we will have another folder and inside this if you see we have one folder where we are residing our one park files so this is how you can partition your data frame okay and as i said 
the best practices is you should not go ahead with the high cardinality columns you should definitely work with the low cardinality columns right like zip code state and all which we talked about and we should not create or we should not use multiple columns for partitioning otherwise what it will do it will create a hierarchy of partitions inside it right we should use the columns which we know customer use for their queries right if you think if customer is uh, basically querying the data based on the dates right so date should be your column as a part of partition if the customer is gonna filter the uh, data based on zip codes right so zip code should be your partition right so you should involve those columns which customer will be or mostly be using in their queries right I'll just give you one more last thing here if you wanted to partition multiple columns you can also do it you can just specify okay, two columns inside it that's a column 3 and inside it column 2 so what it's gonna do is it will create a partition column 3 and then inside this column 3 it is gonna create partition based on column 1 values okay so let me quickly show you let's say partition 3 let's run it and go to catalog go back one more time i'll click on this partition 3 you see first partition based on column 3 second partition based on the column 1 and then we have the parquet files right so make sure so this is not the best practice right as i said so make sure when you are using multiple columns or single columns you should be taking these columns logically okay and one one last thing like sometimes in interview they will ask you what is the difference between group by because that is also used to uh, basically that is also used to divide or, or group by your tables into multiple tables right or things so group by basically does everything on a logical level however partition by actually place your files or actually does magic at the physical layer okay that is the difference between group by and the partition so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys thank you thanks for watching this video